How's it going tonight, everybody? This is Greenfire coming back at you with some more Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. We're doing Grand Arena tonight, and we are going up against an opponent. However, I have gotten, from my family especially, mentions that I am not talking about why I'm doing things or how things are happening. So I wanted to go through this Grand Arena a little bit differently than my other Grand Arenas and explain why I'm doing certain things. Um, and see if, see if everybody can follow along. I'm probably not going to be as precise as I need to be, but there's multiple grand arenas. We'll get through this. I'm telling you, we will. All right, let's jump over the game. We are going up against Duke Eligios. Eligios? I don't know. I apologize, brother. I'm, I pretty much butchered that. I apologize. And then he is representing by Grab Thor, Grab Thar's hammer. I, I feel like I feel like I, I want to say Grab Thor's hammer. <laughs> I don't know why. That's just what I want to say. He does have Darth Revan though, and he's he, he's relicked at five in all three Zetas. I I like it. Good good on you, bud. Good on you. I like it. All right, let's enter here, and let's see what we're going up against. So. Over here, so if we if we win a battle, the most banners that I can get is 56. The least amount of banners is 16. The goal of Grand Arena is for you to battle all of his teams and get more banners than him battling all of your teams. That's the goal. <laughs> Not always does that work. So offensive win, the most banners you can get is 56. So typically I I consider a good win anywhere from 54 to 56. Those are good wins in my opinion. Anything less than that and you start to want to try and gain more banners in places. So instead of bringing in a full three-man team, because this is the 3v3 versus the 5v5 that we did last time, you want to be able to um you want to be able to bring in a lesser team so for instance if he has a really weak team on the back wall i'll bring in just grandmaster yoda because he has enough damage output that i would trust him to be able to take on a team and get me enough banners even though he's going to lose probably one i can at least expect him to get 55 I don't know if that typically works, but that's what we're going with. All right. The other portion of this in 3v3 and in 5v5, what actually has, and this changed a little bit this time because of, because of the, um, hmm, because of them putting three or the level I'm changing to, Typically, the more banners are the southern wall here, and that's where and that's where it's still it's still a close thing because you have 153 in the back back here that if you conquer the territory, if you defeat every team in it, you get 153 banners. So back here, if you conquer this territory, it's 153 battles and up here, it's 204. But in the southern wall. It's 176 and 232. So the Southern Wall has more banners. If you can get through the Southern Wall, you, you have a higher percentage chance of winning. Now, let's see what we actually have. We have a... Ooh. We have a Jedi Knight Revan with... Ooh. Yeah, that's a scary Jedi Knight Revan team. He went, he went heavy defense, I'm, I'm guessing. So he has Jedi Knight, Revan, uh, Jolie, and Bastila. Pardon me. Apologize. And then we also have um, CLS here with Han and Chewie, which is kind of the typical CLS team that I've been seeing. That's kind of typically what we see. And then we have a good boss team. This is the tip... Not... Most of the time, I, if I'm seeing Old Republic 3v3, that's typically what I see. And then this is pretty much a typical Geonosin. There's pretty much an assurance, especially at the higher ends of specific teams you're going to see. Typically, you're going to see a Geonosin team, 
and you're going to see a knight sister team. Both of those are what we call banner stealers. They are have really annoying mechanics where they hit multiple times and they have really high turn meter, which turn meter means how fast you hit. They're constantly getting faster turn meter and they take turns a ton and they end up damaging you a lot more. Now, if you have a tank, it's not so bad. They just taunt and then all the focus is on the tank like Bosk here. So if I was going up a Geonosians and I took in a Bounty Hunter team, I would want Bosk because he can taunt. And so all of that damage is focused on him instead of across the team. So then the heavy hitters like Django here don't get as much damage, so they last longer through the battle, so they're outputting damage much quicker. So that's that's where we're at. All right, so now for actually how I pick teams to go up against. So this... This team, this Jedi Knight Revan team here scares me because he's got a Relic 7 um, Jedi Knight Revan. And I guess I should talk about the Relic really quickly. So in a standard player, there are 13 gear levels, main gear levels. And then down on the left of their character shard, there's what we call Relics. And there's an additional 7 Relic levels. So if you have a gear 13 relic 7 that character is maxed out he cannot go any higher the only thing that he can change is over here on the right hand side there is what we call um mods and the mods can change and they just release new mods so even the mod levels have changed you have higher mod capabilities so the only way to make him change any of his stats now that he is max gear is to change a mod out. Whether that's more speed so they attack faster, more offensive damage so they hit harder, or more defensive power so then they can survive a hit. If you're trying to do a tank, I recommend survivability. There is a ton of different things that you can do to these characters with mods, and that's a whole video in and of itself. But moving back to the game. So how I pick who I want to battle these guys first off i want to use as low of a team because i don't want to use my good teams unless i have to because i can't see what's on this back wall and he could have hit a surprise for us back there he could be hiding a darth revan back there or anything really because he put down such a hard wall front defense not only is he saying it's kind of a challenge of, I have it, now you beat it. So he went really high defense. So the problem with going really high defense is there's a fine line you have to walk because, like for me, I put down some all right defensive. I didn't go very heavy, but he doesn't seem to have. He does have his Darth Revan. So he could potentially get through at least one of these fairly easily. So we're going to see if I can do this because I've never really been very good at high defensive teams. We're going to turn on some music now and stop listening to me babble. Me babble, babbling. All right, we're going to turn on a little bit of music here and the game volume. Okay, so here's my goal and what I want to do. We are going to do, um, we're going to do, I think I want to do my Darth Revan up against his. Now, the reason why I want to do my Darth Revan is my damage output for Darth Revan with Darth Revan, Bastila Fallen, and HK is a lot higher than my Jedi Knight Revan with Jolie, and I think I have Barris on, on them. Yeah, this team here has less damage output than these guys down here. The reason being is I have more relics on my Darth Revan team than on my Jedi Knight Revan team. Jedi Knight Revan is relic 5, whereas Darth Revan is only relic 4. However, Bastila and HK kind of take up the place of that. So I'm going to do I'm going to do my Darth Revan and see what happens here. Now, I want to focus on Jolie. Jolie has a really weird mechanic 
in game where he can revive any fallen Jedi. Yes, um, Jedi Knight Revan here is the one that is going to be the hardest hitter, so I should be going for him. However, I want to get rid of Jolie because I do not want to go through the hassle of taking down these guys and all of a sudden I can't or Jolie just revives them. Now, we're going to focus in on Darth Re or Jedi Knight Revan just because that is his mechanic that he got sir savior, which his savior just means that towards the end of his life he can save one other person once in a in a session. So I got 52 banners. Now, I was not expecting to get high banners against this team because it is a really good team. It is a really good team. So, 52 banners for this team is really good. Yes, he stole four banners from me. And that's because he was able to hit me enough that my health percentage, health percentage dropped. So, as we look here, so the victory gives us 15. The first attempt gives us 30. The surviving units gives us three full health units gives us three and full protection units gives us the additional because it's 56 right four so one of these math doesn't work out anyways regardless of how the math works because i'm guessing that the full health and the protection are what did us in here so i'm missing between these here, I'm missing four points. Three down here and a point up here. I don't know how exactly they've figured that because there's only three characters on the field. So I don't know exactly how that one point works out. I'm guessing you get it for accomplishing all of the feats. So that's how the banner system is ranked. I think. Yeah, we're going with it. That's how that's how I interpret it and it's working out for me. So CLS here CLS and Han and Chewie have some pretty good damage output. So I am going to use I think I'm going to use Bastila here because Bastila has a mechanic that gives more protection to her team. I'm going to use Bastila here and we're going to see if I can get through CLS. Now, I'm going to go after um, Han first because I want him to not hit me as hard. So I'm going to see if I can get a stun. Ayla has a, has a stun that she can use. And so does um, Luminara over there. But as you can see, as they're hitting us, it took away the protection that Bastila first gave us. That's all that they have eaten through so far. Now they're actually starting to eat into my health and protection, which isn't a good thing because I don't want them. Oh, I'm not doing so well. Ooh, this team hits like an anvil, apparently. So I am going to lose this first round. So now I am not assured of that first round victory. So I cannot get. So the most I can get is like 30 banners. Because 30 banners I can't get because I didn't accomplish it on the first first go through. So, what do I want to do here? CLS. The other thing that you can do, and there is a really cool website online. It's, it's swgohcounters.com. You can go on and they have a bunch of different hard and soft counters that you can look up. So the hard counters are Pastela, um, which didn't work. So, and I don't think my shock and clones are anywhere near high enough. I think I'm going to have to burn, um, I don't want to, but I think I'm going to have to burn Jedi Knight Revan to get through this. I'm kind of worried because I'm I'm using some really good teams on this front wall, but I got to get through this front wall in order to get to the back. So because I lost this battle, they have predetermined turn meter. They're they're beginning the battle with what they left with, so that's why they went first and bounced back and forth. Okay, so I am going to focus all of our fire over on Han and see if we can get through him. 
All right, I do not have a tank on this team, and I really do. So I'm going to give this over to Dar or Jedi Knight Revan and see if we can get through him. Now I'm going to bounce back and forth between Jolie and Revan turns. I want them to give each other more turn meter. Be the reason being is if I can get these guys bouncing turns back and forth to each other, typically I can... Typically... Typically, I have enough um, turns that that grants me to get through everybody. Typically, that's not always the case. Sometimes I don't play it right. But again, typically, that's how it works. So we did it. So 32 banners. In a second attempt, you get 10, not 30. So um, we lose out on 20 banners right away. So that would have been, if I had brought in Jedi Knight Revan initially, that would have been 52 banners, like the first battle, which is probably what I should have done just to be on the safe side. But I was a little worried about what he's got on this back wall. And from the looks of it, I'm, I'm okay a little bit. I'm a little worried, but not a ton. Okay, so we got a Shock T and Clones team here with Rex and Fives which is, has awesome durability because Shock T has a heal on these clones. So anytime she calls them to assist, they heal. We have a tank team with um, John and, is it Kanan? Kanan, not John and Kanan here. And Kanan has incredible survivability. Just incredible survivability. We have a resistance a resistance team here and Finn lead um especially with that Zeta he's got some he's got some good defense he's thought this through like holy cats he he's he's thought this through man I I am I'm impressed and usually I go up against people like me that just throw things down and go yep that's what we got <laughs> okay and then we have a a scoundrel team with um Candorous. interesting but i mean that's that's kind of i bet you it works really well with kira lead so okay so the one that scares me probably the most is going to be this top one because they have incredible damage output they really do have just incredible damage output so i am actually going to do I want to do my bounty hunters up against that because I think if I throw the taunt with Bosk, I, I can get everybody to survive because Dengar here is the one that's going to help us win this battle, I think. I could be really off my rocker here as well. So we're going to, instead of doing the initial, the initial um, mass swarm, I'm going to do the taunt. Now I'm going to focus in on Fives because Fives has the savior. So if either of these two gets too low, he will kill himself off and they will stay in. So I want to get rid of Fives first. All right, now we're going to mass swarm Fives and see if we can get through him. But you see how much protection he regains? I just don't know if I have the damage output to get through these guys. I might have to go for... Um, shock or one of the other guys to see if I can get through them now let's put some burn on the field so then we have some over time um, portion portions to go through all right can I like stun him that would be nice if I had like a stunner that I could stun fives but that doesn't seem to be the case at the moment all right I am going to do Ooh, I do not have enough damage output <laughs> I'm I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Now, if I could get through Shock, I would be happy because she's the one that actually is healing everybody. Ooh, let's see if we can do it. Thank you. All right. Let's see if we can get through this. Ooh. All right. First, Django's gone. Django um, has two lives. He has one life and then a secondary life. Ooh. Ooh. Can we mass swarm him? Come on, get through him. He's a thick boy. Put some more fire on the field, see if we can get damage over time. Ooh, we're gonna get through this, but it was ugly. It was an ugly battle. 
54 banners, though, I have to admit, I was not expecting 54 banners going into that. I was expecting maybe 50. Because I was expecting somebody to get killed off. So, I, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay. So, the next team here that's probably the scariest is going to be these tanks here. Because all of these guys are tanks. So, they all have a taunt. The bad portion about throwing in as many tanks is the taunt doesn't angle you. Like, the initial dairy... The in initial dairy... The initial taunt angles you towards one specific team. But that doesn't always seem to be the case when all three are taunting, then you can just pick who you're going up against until they lose a taunt, obviously, but rarely do they ever lose taunts like that. So this one, I think I'm going to do, I'm gonna do Malak. Um, I'm gonna do Malak, but I'm gonna take out Stormtrooper Han and I'm going to replace him with Sith Trooper. The reason why I'm replacing Stormtrooper Han is my Sith Trooper has a lot more gear and a lot more power behind him and then i'm bringing in darth nihilus to see if i can get him to survive long enough darth nihilus has an annihilate so no matter who he hits that person gets destroyed so i'm gonna see if i can bring in darth nihilus and hopefully he has enough survivability that i can get through him so this initial punch that i'm going to throw is going to be a shock and i want to shock kanan here because i don't want him doing anything too crazy so he's got damage over time so Han there, he taunted first. Now, the others are going to taunt here in a minute as well. So there's Kenobi that just taunted. So he now, he now, we can click over on him and start doing damage on him. So that's the portion of this that I always think is weird. Is So this team is essentially like a, I don't, this team almost makes you um, time out because I only have five minutes to complete this battle if I can't complete the battle in five minutes I automatically lose so this team essentially what it does is it because of how thick they are okay Nihilus has his annihilate I'm going to do old Ben because he has the most protection right now he's gone he cannot come back either so if I annihilate a character the Jolie Bendo his mechanic where he can revive characters no longer works as well he can't revive a person that has been annihilated. Now, his cooldown, Nihilus's cooldown is seven turns for a for that. Typically, you only get one unless you're like crazy, 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 crazy going through um, turn meter. Typically, you only get one annihilate. I've seen it where there's been more, but typically that's a really nasty battle at that point generally okay so we got through it with 53 banners i call that a good win because i was afraid i was gonna time that out to be honest with you okay whoo i'm feeling i'm feeling i'm feeling the pressure now i'm feeling the pressure now because i don't know if i have anybody to go up against that boss Ooh. okay let's finish this off really quick here let's see if we can not use anybody good. I need to save my good teams as much as possible. So I'm going to save CLS, Shock. I think these guys can take... Because who do I got here? Who do we got? We got... Ooh, that Finn mechanic, though. They are going to get absolutely slaughtered if I don't bring in anybody that can survive. Um... Don't want to, but I think I'm going to bring in my other bounty hunter team here and see if we can we can get through this. Okay, I am going to focus on Finn first because Finn has that Zeta and and his mechanic is just uh, damage, 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 damage. So we want to get rid of him as quick as possible. Perfect. Okay, the next one I'm going to go for is Poe, just because he has the least amount of health and protection. He's probably more powerful than her, even though she has more. But we're just going to quickly eat through him, and now we're going to focus over on Ray Scavenger. Let's see if we can get a stun. No stun. And just do basics here. Um, Get some armor up. Ooh. 
Come on, Cad. Yeah, 50 banners. Oh, this one, this one, this one went high defense. So high defense um, grand arenas typically are low banner wins for me because they have such high teams. And I'm trying to use lower gear teams to go up against these guys in order to save my better teams. Now, obviously, that didn't work because I used my two most powerful teams in the front row to get through it. So that's not always the case, but I still have Grandmaster Yoda that I'm saving. I still got some Ewoks here that I could throw out too. So what do I want to do up against the Scoundrel team? The Scoundrel team. And Candrus hits hard. He hits hard. I mean... I mean... I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. I don't think they have enough power. All right, I've already lost one battle. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try Ewoks. Oh, I can't believe it's come to this, but I'm going to try it. At this point, I wasn't planning on using them anyways. I can do another team up against this if I want. We could also bounce up to the top wall and start battling up there and then come back to this and see what happens. I think I'm gonna do that instead of instead of doing that. I think we're gonna we're gonna jump up to this upper wall here and we're gonna do a couple battles up here to see if I can get through any of these and then we'll jump back to the bottom. So all right. I want to bring in Grandmaster Yoda against these guys because he has major damage output. Now, who do I want to bring in? I'm thinking of bringing in Rex and Fives. Fives has that taunt on him. Rex has the aerial advantage, which is a mini annihilate. It will not annihilate everybody, but it does some pretty good damage output. And using that up against Bosk is going to be a real big thing and then yoda just has amazing damage output in and of itself we're gonna try this we're gonna see if this works please work because i actually kind of broke up a team here because i usually have rex lead so we are going to focus on Django first for a second and see if i can get his turn meter push back now we're going to focus on fives and we're going to give this over to Yoda so he comes in assists. I'm almost through Django 1. Remember, he has two lives that we got to get through. Bosk is throwing his taunt, so we're, we're stuck behind that for the current moment. I really, 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 really don't like that taunt. I'm hoping... Ooh, can I give him some? Yeah, I give him some health, but oof. Okay, so let's see if we can. All right, that's the first Django gone. Let's see if we can get rid of second Django. That's good. Got the taunt up again. Oh, oof, 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 oof. oof. Now well, let's see if I can steal anything. Come on, give me another turn. Give myself some protection back. Now let's see if I can push back his turn meter. All right, so I gave myself a little breathing room. Not a ton, just basic it. Oof. I can't steal anything from these guys. I gotta get through that taunt. Ugh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay. All right, who do I have that I can clean that up with? All right. I think I'm going to bounce around here a little bit now. Because now we're, now we're playing the how, what do I have left in storage that I can throw at some of this stuff. All right, I'm going to do... <laughs> what to do, what to do, what to do. Okay. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to do CLS up against these um, Geos here. See if I can eat through them with my CLS. All right. Let's do this. And he might stop me here. That might be a, that might be a stop at this point. So I'm going to focus in on Geonosian Brood here because he can call in the Brood Alpha, which is a taunt tank 
and he is going to be kind of the end of me. Okay, so we're going to try and focus on him really quick here. Yep. Oh, come on, Han. Come on, Chewie. So they share health, so that's what they're doing right now, is they're sharing, sharing health between each other. So I'm going to try and focus in... All right, I got rid of one of them. There goes two, and that should be three. Perfect. 52 banners. I will accept that against the Geo team because they share health between each other. So they always are increasing their health because they share health. Okay, so I think to get through that Bosk team, I think I'm going to do my Old Republic. I think they have enough damage output now. Oh, all right. All right. So they got their preloaded turn meter here. So the mechanic for Old Republic is if you use basic, it calls another Old Republic ally to assist. So if I spam basics, there's always going to be an assist. They, they, that's just the way their mechanic works. They're constantly assisting. Okay. So let's see if I can eat through Bosk here. Come on, go away, Bosk. All right, now I got two Bobas. He also has two lives. So let's see if we can get through Boba 1. Boba 1. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, why didn't you just use Old Republic first? I would like to point out also that this did not have Django here. So just because I ate through Bosk and Boba quickly, doing all three, I might not have been able to do that. Because Django has incredible damage output. So, could I have? Potentially. Potentially. But, we won't know that. Okay, so I have two teams left. I have two teams left. Now, I want to at least get the banners for saying that I cleared this. So, I am going to leave that old Republic team for the moment. And I'm going to focus on this and see if I can get through it. I am going to throw a lesser geared team at it, but one with more damage output at this and see what we can do. I am going to take out, I really want Cody in there and Ark has his, yeah, we're just gonna do this. This team has really good damage output. Cody has the mechanic where he calls in everybody to assist. Now I'm going to focus in on Kira first because she's the soft and squishy. She's soft and squishy. So we're going to call in Arc Trooper there. And we're going to give this over to Cody. Yeah, we got through her. Now I'm going to go for Cad next because he's the next, next big damage output. Perfect. Okay, now we just got to eat away at Candrus here and see if we can get through him. Do a big AoE there. All right, that's what I was kind of afraid of. See if we can put arc trooper under stealth so he stops aiming at him oop misplanned my part i should have done the mass swarm there but that's all right we're gonna give that over to cody and we're gonna mass swarm Ooh. all right and just basic and we're through 50 manners Whew. i thought i was donezo there i thought candorus was just going to be able to eat through me that i didn't have the damage output Okay, so if you notice now, I got the 232 banners for conquering this territory. I got through it. Mind you, I didn't, I didn't do it prettily or pretty, but we got through it. We got through it. We got through it. Oh, man. Oh, whew. Oh, man. I feel like I've ran a marathon here. Okay, so this one here, this team... So, Zalbar here, which is the Wookiee in the middle, he has a taunt mechanic, but he also is friends with Mission here. So, every time Mission takes a team, a turn, not a team, a turn, it calls Zalbar and so forth and so forth. And then with um, Karth here, they recover health. He doesn't have that Zeta, though, so they might not cover as, recover as much. So, all right, let's go into here and let's see what I have. I don't have a lot. All right. We're going to do... Because I really don't have any teams that I know for sure is going to be able to beat these guys. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a lot of little teams at them and see if I can get through them and then on. At this point, I know I can't beat them in one battle. I, I just can't. I don't have any damage output guys to do this. Um, so we're going to do this. So low gray here is a tank, correct? No, he's the support guy. I always get that mixed up between the two. Where is... Oh, Poplo. Poplo's the tank. Yes. Okay, so Poplo's the tank. Ewok Elder revives any of them. And Chief Chirpa is my damage guy. So low gray here, he's turn meter. So he grants a bunch of turn meters. So how many turns they take. So I'm not going to have my tight turn meter train. However, I'm going to have the tank and I'm going to have some survivability. Hopefully. We'll see. This is Ewoks are not the greatest team in the world. Let's be honest here. So we're going to give this over. Which one of these deals physical damage? Dispel all to be and target other LA if the target other LA is an Ewoks. They are called to assist and gain 7%. Okay, so we're going to give this on to Chief Chirpa because we want them to gain turn meter. Now we're going to mass swarm. I'm going after Karth first because he's the he's soft and squishy. Okay, so she's going to go under stealth. Zalbar is going to taunt. <laughs> now it becomes, can I get through Zalbar? Mm, see that where she she attacked there? That is the mechanic that we don't want. All right, so we're going to give up some more turn meter here. And we're going to just do basic because that's all I got. Come on, Poplo. You can do it. Stay in there, buddy. I just need to get through Karth. I need to get through Karth. That's who we gotta do. We gotta get through Karth. Ugh. Ugh, 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 ugh. Oh. Oh. Misplan my part. I didn't click over on Karth. Don't, don't taunt yet, please. Don't taunt yet. Come on. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. We just gotta get through Karth. There it is. We got through Karth. Whew. I'm all right with this now. Even if they kill me off, I'm all right with that because I'll, all I really wanted to do was get rid of at least one of them. Going up against Mission and Zalbar still isn't easy, let's be honest. But at least I, at least I got through one of them. That was my goal in this, was to get it through at least one of them. Oh my goodness. My uh my blood pressure right now must just be incredible. <laughs> and I know you shouldn't game game seriously, but it matters to me. I I like these games. I want to do good on these. Man, my Ewoks are actually eating through these guys. This is incredible. I did not expect them to get as far as they are. This is crazy. They should not be doing this. This is incredible. Oh my goodness. I don't think they're going to do anything else now because Zalbar regains health too quickly. Maybe if I switch over to mission and and kind of work on mission for a little bit. I think it's going to time out. I might throw it on auto and just see what auto does. I'm going to throw it on auto for the last two minutes and just see what it does. I'm not going to touch anything. So auto play, the computer's just randomly picking what it's doing now which it looks like i was about to die so there's two problems with what i just did by the way so now they have preloaded turn meter. so anybody i bring in has to have enough survivability that they can survive the initial onslaught of how much turn meter they have so if i hadn't taken out karth what could have happened is anybody I brought in next would have just been annihilated in the first 20 seconds. So that's the bad portion about what I just did. Okay, so. So, 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 so. I think what we're going to do is we are going to bring in um, Farm Boy Luke, Old Ben, and R2. It's not a big damage output team, but I think they might have enough damage 
to get get some work done here. So I'm going to see if we can stun him good. I'm going to put everybody under stealth but old Ben, and then I'm going to use old Ben here to taunt. Okay, now I'm going to get some fire on the field here, so some burn over time. So each time they take a turn, they're going to get a little more damaged. All right, now let's see if we can stun. We need to stun. Oof. Is it really sad that my Ewoks were doing more damage, it looks like, than this team? Which is really bad. They should not be able to do that. All right, I'm going to throw this on auto because I'm moving too slowly, and I'm going to time out, and I want these guys to just spam in as many turns as they can here. I want them to just keep going because I need them to... If, they, if these guys can get through Zalbar which I don't know if they will be able to. That would be amazing. I, I don't think that's what's going to happen <laughs> as as it looks, but that would have been, it would be so cool if they could get through Zalbar. No, nope, not gonna happen. Oh, I'm gonna get stuck behind this old Republic team, aren't I? Dang it. I did eat away at some of Zalbar's health, so some of his health is gone. Not a ton of it. All right, I think I'm going to throw in these Sith guys here. And let's see if these guys can get some shocks. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to do this. And we're going to do this. All right, now we're going to put some fear on the field. And we're going to give that over to Vader. Give him some protection. All right, ability block, that's always good. Shocks are always helpful. Come on, Vader, take a turn, buddy. Need you to take a turn. All right, let's shock him. Shocks. Ooh, we almost did it. Can we do it? Yes! We did it. Woo! I might be able to actually get through this team. I'm going to get like 16 banners, I feel. Ooh, mission is thick. All right, we're gonna give that back over to Vader, see if we can give him some protection. Do Merciless Massacre. Oh, at this point, I'm just spamming abilities to see if anything is gonna work. I don't see that it is. Come on. Yes, focus over on her. We did it. 18 banners. So I would like to point out 16 banners is the least that you can get for winning a battle. We got two above that. That is horrible. Horrible. But I, I have to admit, I did it in three tries. So that's what happens. You do it in three tries, and that's what happens. Oh, I am so glad that I kept my home one. Whew. And even then, I don't know if I can... This is going to be another triple battle. I am horrible at ships. I am horrible at ships. Let's let's just preference this. So the mechanic here is his that Bosk is going to taunt, and Bosk has amazing survivability. So he has the Hound's Tooth here, and just as he is a tank here, his ship is a tank, and it's incredible. It does some amazing. It can taunt forever, and to get through it is just not fun so i'm gonna bring in my own houndstooth the millennium falcon we're gonna bring in the um ghost and the y-wing biston and i feel like i need another tank for if we lose bosk all right we're gonna try this i am i am very hopeful that this works i do have another team i have um grand moff tarkin and um some other people that we can go up against okay i am not going to focus on houndstooth initially we're gonna focus over on geonosian spy and we're just going to spam basics and get people call people to assist okay so the taunt is up so now we have to deal with boss here so we're gonna spam an aoe and see if we can do any amount of damage here against Bosk. I need to get through Bosk. That's that's the issue here. Ooh. Yeah, because they're under stealth. So he doesn't have a taunt currently, 
So we're going to focus on the, the Geos here and see if we can get through them. I'm going to call in the Y-Wing here and I'm going to see if we can get through through these Geos. That's the hope and the goal. We'll see if that actually works. All right, we're going to do an AOE. Ooh, we almost got through. We almost got through this Geo here. So I'm going to do the Falcon's AOE and get rid of him. Now I'm going to focus in on... Well, it looks like we're going to focus in on the Hound's Tooth. And I'm going to spam a bunch of the Y-Wing here. I'm going to try and spam as much as I possibly can against him. All right, we're going to see if we can get rid of the scimitar here. I, think I have this feeling that we're going to time out. All right, let's see if we can get rid of that. Nope. Ooh, what is he bringing in? Vader! Oh, lovely. All right, we're going to use the Y-Wing for as long as we can up against Houndstooth. That's what we're just going to spam is... um the Y-Wing. We're going to use him up against the Hound's Tooth here. Okay, we're going to focus over on Vader and see if we can eat through him. Alright, so we the Taunts is up. Alright, let's bring in Biston. Biston has some really cool damage output. Okay, so we're just going to get rid of that Hound's Tooth is what we're going to do. Woo! Yes, finally, I might actually win a battle on the first try. Yes! Full clear. I full cleared. Woo! Woo! 65 banners. I don't know what, what's the max you can get on this. 72. So we lost banners there, obviously. So the mechanic on that one is if you call in more, more ships. The more ships you call in, the less banners you have. It... It, the most banners you can ever get is if you don't bring in any replacements, like you only bring in three ships in the, in the capital ship, you would get 72 banners. And you obviously full cleared them. So I full cleared him, but I only got 2061. So I got super, super low banners. Um, as a comparison, last week we won with like 2131. So we got super low banners, which he he had a heavy defense. So the fact I full cleared, in my opinion, is awesome. I, I love the fact that I full cleared. I, I will take that any day. Even if he beats me, that is okay in my book because that was a lot of fun to go through. Yeah, it was it was it was uh aggravating at times and I didn't think I was going to win, but I highly, I highly appreciated that. So, um, big shout out to you, Duke. You, you did a, you did a terrific job. I, I am not confident enough in my abilities to throw down a pure defense lineup. I, I just am not. I, I have the that mechanic still in me where I want my Darth Revan and I want my Jedi Knight Revan on my offensive side of things. So. But you did a really good job. I, I appreciated that. That was fun. So, all right, guys, enjoy the rest of your week. And I will be back. What is today? Wednesday. So I will be back Friday night with another Grand Arena. And just so you know, this is the first round. I always, I always feel like this should be the second round, but it's only the first round. So this is the first round. So I will let you know Friday if we won or lost up against Duke and see you then. Hopefully everybody has a good week, and until next time, bye guys!